I talked too much in my last video and I've had to separate this into a second one when I thought I was going to do it all in one video. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about sight reading. This is aimed um, at beginners to intermediate really, but if you're an advanced player I would recommend you watch it through. It's only going to be like, what, 10 minutes of your time and it might actually have some really good tips that uh, would work for you as well. So first of all, um, I talked in my last video, which if you haven't watched, I recommend you do, a uh, video on sight reading and my thoughts on how you kind of prioritize and how you can make something sound like a piece of music even when you're reading it for the first time. And I think what we established, I say we, as though, as though I'm not here, just me and my, my videographer and I established <laughs> that um, rhythm was the most important thing. So let's chat about rhythm. Um, now this might get a little bit confusing because I think, so we all talk in different terms, uh, the Brits we say crotchets and quavers and semi-quavers, I think maybe the Americans say quarter notes and eighth notes, which actually makes a lot more sense, the mathematical side. First things first, um, you learn about bars, you break them into, you break music into bars. Uh, which wasn't originally the case way back in the day in what they call plain song medieval times they didn't have bar lines you just oh those monks like singing in church um they yeah they didn't have bar lines so the bar lines are kind of like phrasing it's making it a bit more bite-sized without them if i was to read a piece of music without bar lines i think i would struggle to sort of see so feel where the commas are and things like that so you can learn without, if it's confusing things to count one, two, three, four, but then two is actually two and three if you've got a minimum, if you see what I mean. You might be better off just counting in ones and one twos and smaller increments and then almost ignoring those bar lines at first until you're more confident, competent and on top of things. So let's start off with the basic crotchet. So that is your one beat um, if you're in crotchet time which is, let's say, 4-4 four, four in a bar. You've got that 4-4 four, four at the beginning. I sort of think of that like it was one syllable. So if you were saying, hi there, I'm Ches, I'm Ches. So did you notice that I'm and Ches landed with my hand? So let's take, both of those are one syllable words. Let's take the word Ches. So narcissistic, isn't it? I don't know why I chose Ches. I could have chosen like red or dog or sax. Okay, we're gonna go with Ches. Love the sound of that. Ches, 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 Ches. Okay, so let's say that every time you see a crotchet, it, it equals Ches. Now if we extend that, and hopefully by this stage you've bought that Read Rhythm app. If you haven't, here's the link to the app store for that because I would really recommend that. I think it's a great app for this. Um, so you're, you'd be on kind of, I think maybe level one on the app for this. You're looking at kind of crotchets and minims, minim being a two beat note. So um, basically two chezzes, chez, 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 chez. Um, now let's look at quavers. So we've got our beat. Sorry, here's a quaver, eighth notes or whatever you call them. You Americans. Oh, you Americans with your eighth notes. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I keep referring to my notes here so I don't go off piece too much. So we're talking about fitting two notes in the space of one. So let's take Taylor, shall we? That's a two syllable word. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Nice. So we've now got. Ches, Taylor. Let's put one more in there. How about, how about uh, if we were to try and squeeze in, um, okay, uh, how about if we were to try and squeeze in uh, semi-quavers? So they look like this. Uh, so what would they be? Or maybe they'd be, oh, they'd be 16th notes, 16th notes. Um, one of my Spanish followers was like, I don't understand your ABC. Apparently they do Do, Re, Mi or something like that. Well, that'd be a great beginner tune. I must do that. Do, a do, a female, do. That's a good shout. Oh, it's going on the list. Take note, videographer. Thank you. <laughs> He's rolling his eyes at me. Um, right, so, so, the, the semi-covers, there they are. Um, 
But for that, we need a four syllable word. The one that pops into my head, because I'm very fond of these, is cappuccino. Mmm, love the froth. So here's up my beat, and I've got to fit the word cappuccino within every clap. Cappuccino, 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 nice. Okay, so we've ended up with chairs, 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 this one. Taylor, 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 and this one. Cappuccino, 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 cappuccino. With that in mind, can you read this rhythm here? Okay, I'm gonna give you one, two, three, four in, and then you're gonna give it a go, and then I'll kind of sing it back so that you get the idea. Two, three, four. Okay, here's mine. Chez, Chez, Taylor, Cappuccino. Is that something that you had? So, ta, 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 ta. Nice. So that's kind of my thoughts on rhythm. Could go into a little bit more depth. There's a few more that might be useful for you. Triplets, they look like this. Um, a three syllable word you need. I tend to use strawberry. Love a good strawberry. Makes me think of the summer. So strawberry, 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 strawberry. Now there's a couple of other uh, rhythms that come up which have three, such as this one and this one. Now they still have three, but the weighting's different. You can see where the semiquavers are in them. So one of those is longer, so should have more weight on it. So if we look at the first one, strawberry, 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 strawberry. And then the next one, Strawberry, 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 strawberry. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it is easier that whenever you see a three beat note, you use just the same word. Um, two that uh, I, a lot of my students get mixed up with. Um, one is when you've got quavers that are swung. So they'll either look like this, or you'll see the word swung underneath all your quavers, which were your originally my tailors. Um, now I tend to think of this as the word Panda, 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 panda. I just love the idea of a little fuzzy wuzzy panda. Uh, so you've got the waiting on the first note and the second note is that semiquaver. So you put the dotting on the first note and it's ended up longer. So that's actually a three quarter note. And your second note is the quarter. Panda, panda. Can you hear that the pan is longer than the duh? Um, last one. This one I struggle, to, I struggle to come up with anything for, but it's when you have a just the equivalent of um, the panda, but longer. So you've got a dotted crotchet followed by a quaver. So this is your crotchet taking over one, and the dot means that you add on another half. So you've got one and a half. By the way, that applies to any note. So you, you have the note. If you put a dot next to it, it adds half of that note's value by a quaver. So that, crop, that dotted crotchet takes over one and a half. One, two, and and the quaver lands in between. It's difficult for me to show you this without too much diagrams, and that's gonna take me far, long to, far too long to edit, and then this video will never go live. Um, but the best one that I came up with, I don't know if you've ever seen Legally Blonde, <laughs> but I just played the musical of it. It's on tour at the moment, and I just did some of the London shows. Um, I just played the musical of it a few weeks ago, and it reminds me of the bend and snap. Bend and snap. So you've ended up landing on snap. So snap is um, as though you had this rhythm. Uh, so let's think of the bend and. Bend and. Bend and. And as a special treat, I will do the bend and snap. If you've never seen this in Legally Blonde, you're gonna think I'm bonkers if you don't already. So maybe I should put a link to them. Okay, here's a link to the actual bend and snap um, from the Broadway show. I'll find the bend and snap song and you'll see what I mean. But here we go. Basically, you bend and snap. <laughs> so bend and, bend and. And you could have a series of them. Bend and bend and bend. And then, so hopefully that's um, useful for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. These videos are hugely time consuming and I'm hugely busy. So I love it when I get some feedback from people, even if it's someone saying, oh, I didn't understand that bit. Or if it's someone saying, you talk too fast, can you talk a bit slower? 
that's that's good it means there's people out there and they're watching and it's worth me doing these videos and carrying on so please do get in touch and any suggestions if you're like okay well that was really useful but actually I need some help with this please comment uh, that's what the comments box is for and I will always get back to you I pride myself on being a good communicator I try my best so get in touch uh, I'm also on Twitter and Insta and Snap and all of those things. I do the social medias. So um, follow me on some of them and uh, I will see you next time, I guess.